All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. This is pure evil. How can you do this? A full pot of soup you pour in a bucket. Can you do this kind of thing to your daughter? Why would you do You are the evil one. My daughter will never behave to What type of visit is that? Visit? What visit? Your mother in law's visit. Oh, she just got back from Amugo and decided to come and visit us. How, how nice of her. Does that mean she's leaving tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yes, of course. I don't know. She will leave when she will leave now. Do you want me to chase her away? Who cares? Who cares about that? I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Oh, what are you thinking? <laughs> Never mind. But whatever it is, I am ready. Yes! There is no one in there. The door is locked. I have locked. I've shouted. No, no one is in there, Mama. They traveled. Mm -hmm. To where? Mama, no, no. Hey. Mama, hey. Any problem? Mama, what do we do? This situation is killing me. What do we do? I don't know, too. <laughs> this house belongs to you. So you should know what to do. She's very. I don't know where she is. That's the only problem I have. The man's family is made up of his wife and children. His parents, his sisters, and brothers are his extended family. Alright, so this one, my dark place, it's loaded with beautiful content. I want to start this discussion by saying this. Just like she said at the end, you know, a man's house is made up the wife and the children. Mother, sister, brother, you know, all these people are extended family. There's the nuclear family and then there's the extended. They become extended, you know. Um, so things should turn priority. Your family should become priority. I've seen people that would join hands with their sisters and, you know, fighting, you know, the husband or maybe join hand with their brothers and, find, and fighting, you know, the wife, whatever the case may be. But the truth is this, when you have the best interest of your family at heart, it's hard for a third party to come in and do anything. That's the lesson I want us to see. Now, if you could see this particular case, they didn't even try to argue and fight between the two mother, or, you know, who is right and wrong about the two mother-in-laws that were there. You know, they didn't even care about them. You know, they just left. Left them there to their pathetic selves. You know, and this is something that every family should learn but before you get to the point of you guys being able to execute something like they did you have to be in sync you have to see that your husband you have to see that your wife has your everything and it's not just talk it's action by action i mean that you have to be willing to sacrifice before a third party comes in and scatters a relationship there's already some level of scattering that the two partners are doing. You know, it might be something that he wants. It might be something that she wants. You guys have to find that concession and make both of you happy. Because when you're not happy, it's easy for any third party to come and scatter anything. You know, it's very, very easy. You know, and then at that point, you will now start shouting what your husband did to you or what your wife did. To you. But you've already created the room for that third party to come in by, you know, creating issues where they're not. By, you know, not putting his best interest at heart or her best interest at heart. 
You know, so these things are how it starts. But before we even go too forward about this, we also have to address the issue of, you know, all these modern laws that pop up and try to change the dynamics of their you know, son or their daughter's home. You know, try to leave them to live their life. Even if you're with them or living with them, let them live their lives. Uh, let them, you know, grow, bond, vibe, you know, by themselves. In that way, you will not become that third party that's causing a rift. More importantly is the husband and the wife conceding to things that they need to. If there's something you know your husband really, really wants, don't hesitate to make him happy. This man is your world. Same thing with the guys. If there's something she wants, she's your world. You guys should walk and make each other happy. If you keep fighting and bickering on things, everything scatters. It's easy at that point for third parties to come in and, you know, help you guys scatter whatever that's still standing. So that's it for this one. I really love the message that they sent at the end, whereby they just decided to up and leave and leave both the mothers there, the sister, everybody that came to learn cause more confusion. They just abandoned everybody and left. And that was the right thing to do because as you can see, once that happened, everybody now started working together because, you know, one way or another, we still know that the mothers have the interest, the best interest of their children. But, you know, sometimes it's, you, know, you should just leave them to work together with their wives or their husbands to make their home what it should be. That's it for this one, guys. If you love this kind of content, please like, share, subscribe, follow. This is CJ from Magnetic Studios, and I'm here to deliver sense. Thank you.